Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michael Pittman. I'm the president and owner of Connected Solutions Group. We are out here in Warsaw, Virginia today to do a live demonstration of our mobile command center products. We've got both our standard mobile command center and our mobile command center or MCC Mini to demonstrate in a poor signal environment how well we can get these devices connected to Verizon LTE network. So we've unloaded all of our equipment and we're getting set up right here down by the water. We're on tiny little Monacan Creek in Warsaw, Virginia. The signal here is terrible, but we wanted to get a quick test, speed test on the speeds that we're getting before we set up any equipment. So John Wiseman, our CTO, is here with us. Give us an indication of what your phone's reading currently. Not too good. So I'm showing 1.8 megabit down and 0 .08 up. And that was actually after a few attempts. Uh, all previous attempts failed. So this is the first successful one and we're just getting a sliver of signal. All right, let's see if we can zoom in and actually get something. It could be moving around a little bit. All right, let's go down and see what we've got down below. All right, folks, we've moved down here to the waterfront here. We're just steps away from where we ran that test on John's cell phone a few minutes ago, and we're gonna fully set up the standard mobile command center. Right now, we're gonna have John walk you through every step. We'll put a timer up here on the screen so you can see just how long from the time that you get your mobile command center on site at the deployment site to be up and running and connected on the Verizon LTE network and uh, have the ability to place phone calls. So with that being said, uh, take it away, John. Okay, so it looks like we're up and running now. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and place a test call and see see how we're doing here. I'll put this on speaker. Solutions Group, how may I help you? Uh, hi, Carter. This is uh, Mike out doing a test. How can you hear me? Oh, perfect. Awesome. Well, that was a very quick connection, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you. All right, great. Thanks. So, you know, that was with, uh, you know, just a few minutes ago, we had, we had a terrible signal up there, struggled to place just test calls, you know, on our cell phones, um, and, you know, was, uh, able to relatively quickly get up and get connected there. Let's take a look at what the speed test is reading on a laptop as we connect to that cradle point. And here we go. Currently we're showing uh, eight or nine times the download speed we were getting. Um, and actually those tests were being done at a higher vantage point. It was the only spot that we could grab an LTE connection from my cell phone. Um, we were actually down here by the water where I, I couldn't get any connection at all with my cell phone. And also folks, we wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration on the Mobile Command Center Mini, which is kind of the, the little brother to the Mobile Command Center, which does not feature the VoIP phone connectivity, uh, but has some really cool uh, features that make it a faster, easier system to deploy. So John, take it away. All right, this is a very quick, simple deployment. There are no antennas to connect. The entire antenna array is completely enclosed and protected inside the case. Uh, all you really need to do to deploy the unit is to open up the weather tight power connector cover, hit the power button, and you're up and running on the enclosed battery in IBR 900. If your deployment uh, requires you to access any of the other ports uh, for the IBR 900, those are accessible through weather tight connectors as well. So the WAN port, the LAN port, the USB data, the charging port, and also 
a USB power port. So if you have an ancillary device such as a cell phone that you need to keep running, you can charge that from the enclosed battery as well. There's another video. Uh, if you click uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, you'll be able to see a full, more complete demonstration on the Mobile Command Center Mini. And we actually have a video running now connected to this MCC Mini, correct? And this is the same location that you were getting the very poor speed test on your phone. Right. So if you just need a deployment to get you back up uh, with uh, high-speed data, uh, this is a very quick, mobile, lightweight way to do that. And as before, where we had to search the property, uh, get the highest point available to barely be able to get complete a speed test on my cell phone, we are now down here in a low spot right by the water, streaming video of, off of YouTube uh, with the MCC Mini, uh, all enclosed, protected, watertight, and uh, rugged. And because, you know, we like to put our money where our mouth is, we figured we'd go ahead and just kind of do this. And, you know, while we're at it, So let's take a look and see how this is working. It's still streaming. Good to go. So as you can see, and as our uh, mobile command centers float down the river here, uh, you know we're very uh, confident in the performance of these. Uh, we believe that we've set a tone uh, to kind of produce these at a, at a cost that is much more reasonable for you, the customer. We're very proud of this product line. If you guys have any questions at all based on what you saw in today's videos, any questions at all about how we can customize these precisely for you, feel free to reach us at the email and phone number that you see on the screen, and we'd love to uh, make a custom build uh, specifically for you and your organization. Thank you guys very much for tuning in today.